Hi guys, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to share with you how to combine multiple drone photos into one integrated map like the Google Maps. And we are going to do that with the help of Drone Deploy online platform. To give you an idea what Drone Deploy is, it is a provider of cloud control software solutions for drones which include automated flight safety checks, workflows, and real-time mapping and data processing. So in this video, we are using the real-time mapping and data processing feature of the platform. First things first, we need to make an account. So we need to sign up using your existing email or you can make a new one. And then after that, you then proceed to the profile information. So you, you need to fill in the blanks here and go to the next step. So you need your name, your company name, and then the next uh, is the industry, then the goals, then the drone program, just me, then the role. So in my case, I'm a pilot. And then we will go now to the interface of drone deploy. So here, welcome, I'm a pilot, I need to analyze data. So we need to analyze data only. Then this is uh, the introductory video. So we need to skip this one. And then we only have 14 days expiry, guys. So sorry to break down drone deploy, but yeah, you can use this freely. Like, you can make as many, as, uh, as many emails as you can. And then after 14 days, you can then sign up again with a new email. So now let's proceed. We create a project now. So just follow these steps, guys. And you can do the mapping. So the project name is Tenga Area. So the coordinate system, we need to use the survey 21, Singapore. And then upload the photos. So we need to use the use legacy uploader, then go to map or up map uploader, then select photos. Then look for your photos, where did you put it in your drive? Then for this guys, you need the top view photos, like 90 degree at uh, the camera, the gimbal of the drone should be tilted 90 degrees in order to achieve this mapping photos. So now it's already laid out. If you can see the dots guys, that's the photos I made. So I think it's 100 plus. Then I open again another window for another area. So I have two, pro yeah, two projects, guys. The Tenga and the CCK Avenue 3. So you don't need to wait for uh, that window to finish. You can just open a new window and start again what you did uh, in Tenga area. Then, same, select photos, go to your drive where you save the photos, use the top view photos, then select all, then the cloud will just generate the points. So these are the uh, number of photos I made, guys, in blue. Then upload images, the platform will generate the Photos in map, guys. So it says the time remaining is 5 minutes. Then after that, the photos will reflect already in the map. So as you can see, the map is not yet updated with the drone photos I have taken. And then 
you can receive if the photos are already ready in the email so you will go to your email and then there you can see the map already generated by the platform see so of course guys the google maps is not updated with this this is yeah it's only within the platform so as you can see the photos are, are so like uh, in global coordinates and the photos are so crisp yeah you see how how large the project is so this stretch is around two kilometer then on the next stretch is also another two kilometer then cck avenue 3 is also ready we can also view the map already we generated then this is it yeah so this is another portion of the stretch then the altitude of drone with these shots guys is at 100 meters so you need to maintain the 100 meters in order for the photo to be accurate then i took the shots every 20 meters and as you can see guys the buildings beside the roads are distorted it is because uh, the buildings are not the main focus in your shots so in order to eliminate that you just have to uh, produce a lot of photos then make the buildings in center of the focus then that's it you can achieve accurate and crisp photos so this is not yet the final uh, product guys we still have one step to do we need to export this to jpeg form or whatever format you want so in my case i want a jpeg form then choose two inches per pixel and then export so just follow the settings guys then when the program generated the image already successfully it will prompt you in the email so like this the image is ready already for download and uh, this one is already the final product like it's in jpeg form already so in a minute we will see how it goes we will now check the ortho mosaic format of the photo so this is what it looks like guys if exported to the final product so from this we use this to superimpose to our 2d CAD drawings the site utilizations of the uh, whole project so this one is one stretch only the two kilometers yeah so as you can see guys it's very crisp and clear yeah then yeah beside the roads are the distorted buildings you just have to make or take more photos where the buildings are in center of your focus to avoid the distortion then if we import it to the CAD it looks like this so i just manually aligned the photo to our site utilization layout and it looks very accurate guys yeah so that's it guys i hope you stay tuned for more drone videos i have in the future and don't forget to like and subscribe Thanks guys for watching.